Hey, thank God for these recordings. That's all I say. They're great. Okay. So, lying onto your left side, everybody. All right. And um, we're going to start with like a, a mermaid kind of variation that I kind of made up, <laughs> as I do. So, I'm going to get you to bring your legs back. So, they're going to be bent as if you're going to do plans, and your, your knees are slightly forward, okay, on your hips. I want your hips stacked. So, make sure one hip is directly over the other. Okay, so that's the other, the lower hip isn't forward. Keep your hips completely stacked there, and your lower arm is slightly forward of your shoulder. Okay, fingers are pointing away. We're going to bring our hands resting onto our thigh, our yeah, thigh and knee area, and bring the palm of the hand facing up. We're going to inhale as we bend our lower, our lower elbow, and then as you exhale, I want you to reach on over your head, extending through that lateral rib, the outer rib. Okay. Inhale as you bend the elbow, breathing in. Exhale, push into the mat, lengthen that lower arm and reach. Okay. Inhale, bend the elbow, rest the other arm down. And exhale, push up and reach away. Okay. Just warm in the body up. Inhale. Exhale. Draw that belly button towards your spine, guys. Inhale. Exhale. We're going to go for five more. Breathing in as you bend that lower arm, push into the mat, extend, reaching over, exhaling. Relax the arm down, breathe in. Exhale. And last three. And two. And one. Good. Okay. From here, we'll stay on this side and we'll do the other side now in a moment. So bring your elbow down to the floor. Make sure it's directly under um, the shoulder. And I want you to um, kind of slightly bring your knees slightly forward of where they were at. Okay. I want you to visualize where your spine is in space and where your hips are also. So I want a nice elong, long spine from the base of your head all the way down to the base of your spine. Okay. And again, just check in with your hips. I want them one over the other. So top hip over the bottom. Okay, so no rotation of the spine. We're going to reach the arm out in front in line with our shoulder. We're going to breathe in. I want you to follow your hands. We're doing spinal rotations, but on our elbows today. Okay, so reaching back with that arm as you breathe in, look at your hand. And make sure your hip isn't moving. That upper hip stays forward. And then exhale, bring it back. Follow your hand with your eyes. Inhale as you bring that hand up towards the ceiling and then behind. Keep that hip forward. If it's hurting your neck, don't go so far with your arm. Okay. If you don't have that mobility in your neck, don't push it. Okay. Inhale and exhale. Okay. Inhale and exhale. Again, check in with your hips. Make sure that you are not bringing that top hip back with you. And also, I want you to keep strong through that elbow that's on the floor, please. Don't let your shoulder drop. Okay, now let your waist sink down to the floor. One more. Good. And exhale. From there, guys, bring your knees slightly back, okay? Just slightly forward of your hip. Okay, and we're going to come into a side plank position. So resting again onto that lower elbow and just holding this position, okay? I want you to draw that belly button in towards your spine. And I want you to push the hips slightly forward to squeeze the glute. And again, crown of the head, your head, make sure to uh, kind of see where your head is at in space. Make sure you're not dropping the head towards the floor or you're not looking down towards your leg. Okay. Check in with your hips. Make sure that they're stacked again. Okay. Very important to see where they are in space, that they're kind of working together as a pair rather than disjointed, one hip away from the other. Okay. And we're going to lower and lift for five. Four, three, two, one, and lower down. Very good. From there, just come into a, a mermaid, the original mermaid stretch. And we're just going to stretch out that side that we've just worked, okay? So I want you to bring your left leg, if you're lying on your left side, your left leg is in front, right leg is behind, okay? Try and get that leg down towards the floor. We're going to reach on over. From our left side, so reaching that left arm over towards the right, stretching out that side that we've just worked because we are still warming the body. Release down, let's do two more and stretch out. 
and release down, and one more. Good. Gonna swap sides and coming onto your right side. Okay. Again, knees are stacked. And I want you to bring your knees slightly forward of your hips, okay? And again, try and bring the hip back if it's too far forward. Bring your arm slightly forward of your shoulder, okay? And place the hand, palm facing up on your knee, all right, on your side of your thigh. We're gonna breathe in as you bend the elbow. Exhale, reaching over the head and stretching, okay? Inhale, bend that elbow. Exhale, push into the mat and reach. Good. And inhale, bend. Nice little activation in the arm there. And bend down. Exhale as you come up. Reach. Okay, breathing in, bending that arm, strengthening through that arm, pushing into the mat as much as you can. Nice, strong, fancy arm. Drive up and reach. Good. Drive up and reach. Lengthen there. Get a nice lat stretch as you reach that arm over your head. Good. Give me two more, please. And we're going to go for the last one, please. Well done. Okay, we're coming down onto our elbow. and okay, directly under the shoulder, please. Okay, bring the knee slightly forward. Okay, and again, just check in with your hips. So we have a little look. Draw that belly button spine and nice and long. I want you to lengthen up out of the waist here. So just don't let your waist drop down. Lift it up. Okay, from here, reaching the arm in line with your shoulder, follow that hand. So we're going to inhale, follow the hand, reaching behind as you may have one big breath in. And then as you exhale, bring it back where you start. Good. Inhale. Good. Reaching back. Exhale. Coming forward. Now really don't let that waist come down towards the floor. So you're constantly pushing into the floor with that elbow that's resting under your shoulder. Reaching up the way. Good. Coming back. And reach. And back. Hold up. Look, four more. For three. Hold up. One more. Okay. okay, from there, staying in your plank, semi position, just bring the knees back, okay? And we're going to stay on the elbow. We're going to take a breath in and on the exhale, coming up. And then if you want to release the arm, you can or keep it on your way. You, okay? Just have a little check in with your hips and make sure that they're stacked again. I'm going to hold it for another five, four, three, two, one. We're going to lower and lift for five, four, three, two, and one. Okay? And drop down. From here, guys, you're going to come onto your back. All right, feet in line with your shoulders. Okay, we're going to go into bridge position. Just take an inhale here, hands down by your side. And on the exhale, we're going to roll through each vertebrae one at a time, lifting your hips up towards the ceiling, squeezing the glutes, bring the arms down by your side. Take an inhale here. And on the exhale, you're going to roll down through each vertebrae. Controlling, round the abdominals so you can go through your inference position. So bringing the lower back down to the mat, all the way down, and releasing those hips. Roll those hip bones up towards the ceiling. Cubic bone comes down, and then coming back up. Cubic bone up, lower back down, and then lift up. And articulating through each vertebrae, okay? Take an inhale and exhale, coming down. So you need to round that stomach area. Scoop the abdominals basically and roll down so you hit each and every one of those vertebrae coming down and release. So open up the stomach area, stretch out the hip flexors and then coming back up. Good. Inhale to stay and exhale to lower down. Well done. Release again. So make sure you arch that back. Get a lovely stretch in the front. And then back into an imprint position and then drive those hips up. Hands down by your side. And lower down. Just check in with your hips and make sure your hips are coming down as a pair also. Sometimes one hip wants to drop. So just be aware of what's happening there. That you aren't allowing that happen. 
if you feel that it's happening, you need to drive into the, the leg that's weak a little bit more and realign. Okay, engage your abs a little bit more. Two more, please. Done. Really activating those glutes as you come up to the top. And back. One more. I want you to walk your, heel, your heels a little bit closer to your backside. Okay. Just check in with your knees, make sure they're hip distance apart. I want you to bring your arms back to the back of the room. Okay. I want a nice long line from your head to your knees. Okay. And I want you to really push into the mat with your feet. If you're feeling it anyway in your lower back, just drop your hips a little bit. Okay. So you feel that pressure is gone. All right. We're going to hold this position. And just focus on what's happening, okay? Squeezing the glutes, breathing into your ribs. You're going to take five big breaths in, okay? So, big breath in, lift the rib cage, exhale, go down. As you exhale, really activate the abs and push the ribs down. If you can manage to do that in this position, it would be excellent, please. So, big breath in, lift the ribs, and exhale. Engage the abs and drive the ribs down towards the top. Okay, last three. Big breath in. And exhale. Make sure you're resting on the lower part of your shoulder blades and not on your neck. Last. One more. Slowly come down. Keep your arms where they are. I want you to roll out of this bridge position one vertebrae at a time. Okay. Excellent. Okay, hands behind the head. We're going to take an inhale here. And on the exhale, we're going to come into an ab prep position. Last warm up exercise. We're going to hold here. Breathe in and then exhale to lower down. Breath in to stay. Exhale to lift. Inhale to lower this time. Exhale to come up. Squeezing the abdominal, abdominals as much as you can. Okay, go with the, the inhale and the exhale. Move with that exhale all the way until you've got no more air left. You keep moving, keep squeezing those abs. Okay, inhale. Move with that breath in all the way to you meet the floor. Breathe in, breathe in. And then exhale. Two more, please. One more. Well done, okay. Resting your body down, okay. From there, guys, I'm gonna get you to bring your hands behind you, nice and long. We're gonna take an inhale here, and on the exhale, we're gonna come up into our prep, but we're reaching our arms to the lateral sides of our thighs, okay. We're gonna reach back, slowly coming back down to the mat. And exhale to come up. We've got a bit of ab work today, a little bit more than normal. Inhale to reach and exhale coming up. Reaching back. And if your neck is sore, you can use one hand to support your head. You find it's just too much, okay? And reach. And if you want to alternate arms, you can to support your head. So you give your each arm a, a, a go stretching back, okay? And lengthening. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale. Before you lift, just nod your chin a little bit. It takes a bit of pressure off. And then come up. Give me one more, please. Well done. We're going to come back down. I want you to grab the backs of your thighs. We're going to take an inhale. And on the exhale, just bring the thighs close to your chest and just rock gently forward and back. Okay. And then I want you to rock side to side. And then we're going back, forward and back, okay? Bring your chin uh, to your chest and lift your head off the mat. Just rock it forward and back, forward and back and get a little, little bit deeper. And then slowly lifting up the seat. Okay, work back. Okay, from there, just grabbing the back of your thigh. Below the knee, or above the knee, should I say. We're going to take an inhale here. On the exhale, bring your left leg up. And just sitting slightly off your bony part of your backside, your sit bones, and then your right leg to meet it. I want you to think nice and long through that spine, okay? So just your backside if you need to. Feel like you're off. 
and sitting up nice and tall. So push the chest open, draw the shoulder blades back towards each other and eye line looking forward if you can. And that sideways at me. For now, and just hold this position, draw the belly button in towards your spine and nice and long through that torso, okay? We're gonna release our arms now. So I want nice long arms, hands facing down, keeping those legs lifted and the body nice and tall through the torso, okay? Sitting back a little bit and then coming forward. So your knees will slightly move away and your torso will move away at the same time. And then you bring them back. If you need to support yourself, place your, your fingertip on your knees, okay? As you bring them away and then bring them closer together. So it's only a little, very small movement away and together. Your feet are together, by the way, and your knees, all right? Bring the legs together and forward. We're gonna go for four more. Okay, together. Three. Well done. Last two. Last two. And hold. We're gonna reach that right arm back, look at your hand, and bring it back to center. Reach the left arm away, follow your hand, and bring it back. And reach the right. For three more. Two. One. Take the feet down. Gently and round over your legs and hold yourself. Okay. Rest your head onto your knees. And give your neck a little break. Okay. Hope you're all okay. Just want to make sure that my battery is okay. If not, just Okay. All right. I'm going to have to get my charger, lads. Just bear with me, please. Okay. Running out. Thought I saw that coming up. Well, yes. Okay. Yeah. Perfect. Sorry about that. It's a bit easy. Yeah. Apologies, guys. Okay, so we're going to slide all the way down off the mat. Nice long line with the body, reaching the arms back. And we're going for roll up. So bring the toes towards you, take an inhale. And on the exhale, we're going to reach the arms towards the ceiling and then roll up with your upper body to a seated position. Bring those toes towards you, lengthen through the back of the legs and reaching forward. Just, just remember how tight you feel right now. Because as you move through these movements, they will, you will loosen out massively. Okay. Scoop the abdominals and rolling down through your vertebrae one at a time, please. And then release down. Inhale as you reach those arms back. And exhale, come up with the hands first towards the ceiling. Then start to move through your spine, lifting it off the mat, tuck the toes towards you, drive the knees to the mat, and reaching forward, holding. Inhale, nice and tall, sitting up on those hip bones. Exhale, scoop the abdominals, rounding down. Releasing slowly, 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 slowly. I'm still not on my mat, guys, you shouldn't be either. And now I'm down. Inhale, reaching those arms back. Exhale towards the ceiling, and sitting up nice and tall. I'm going to come over to the phone now to have a look at you after this next one and holding. Eye line down towards your thighs. Inhale, sitting up nice and tall. Scoop the abdominals, please. If you need to bend your knees to support yourself, do so like so. Hold the backs of the legs, bend the knees. And support yourself going down. And just get stronger doing that if you feel that you can't come down in a nice, dignified manner. Inhale and exhale, reach the fingertips to ceiling and coming up again. Coming over to have a look at you after this one and reaching forward, please. Feel the difference there, that stretch. Sitting up nice and tall, reach the hands forward. And then I want you to scoop the abdominals coming down slowly, slowly. Keep the heels on the floor, please. Heels down, heels down. Good. Control. Well done. Excellent. Inhale. Oh, you got back, Aoife. Well done. Inhale, reach the arms back. And exhale, bring the hands towards the ceiling. Activate the thighs, please. Reaching and going forward. 
reach, good. Inhale, sit up nice and tall, reach those arms forward. Scoop the abs, please, scoop. We're going down for six, five, four, well done, three, two. I want everyone to stay with me for the next one, okay? So just stay on the floor for now and listen to what I have to say, okay? So you're gonna reach, hold on, inhale, reach those arms back. We're staying with this exercise. Lift the kneecaps, so activate the thighs, please. That's it, bring the toes towards you, activate them. Inhale, exhale, draw that belly button to the spine, reach the arms, don't lift in a, yeah, true movement, it's more the abs doing the work, good. And reaching forward, please, now. Eye line down, look at those lovely knees. And inhale, sitting up onto your sit bones, reach the arms parallel to the floor. Look straight forward, and then slowly come down, please. Six, five, four, lift your chin a small bit, John. Three, two, and one. We're doing two more because we got to work on this. Inhale, when you're ready, reach those arms to the back of the room. Activate the thighs, please. Draw the feet towards you, and exhale to come up. Slow, controlled, lift. Abs are doing it. That's it, Josephine. That's it, that's it. Good work, good work. Well done. And reaching towards your toes. Hold that position. Lift your arms a small bit, John. Tiny bit on the palms facing in towards each other, please. Inhale, sitting up nice and tall. And we're going to go for 10 seconds on the descent. Inhale, exhale, come down. Good. For six, five, four. Stay with me, Hannah. <laughs> Two. And one, good, release down, we're going for one more. Inhale, reaching, exhale, come up, don't jump up, don't jump up. That's cheating, and coming forward, down towards your legs, reaching. Looking at your legs, lock out your knees to get a little stretch, toes towards you. Inhale to seated, and then exhale, we're all gonna come down for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, Three, two, release, <laughs> release. <laughs> gently, Sorsha. Good stuff. Okay, so just a quick reminder of what I'm, I'm talking about when I'm talking about using your body to pull you up rather than using your abs, okay? So the difference is, if you want to watch, inhale, exhale, okay? And you can see that the legs kind of come into it then as well, okay? What I want is control, so you're going to breathe in, Really activate the thighs, draw the toes towards you, squeeze the glutes if you need to, and it's a slow movement, lifting and lowering. Okay, so just be mindful. I know if, um, sometimes when you're building strength, it'll take a while for you to get to that position, but eventually you will. But if you know what I'm talking about, you can be mindful about it going forward, and then we're more aware. So coming onto your hands and knees, all right. We're going for Superman, hands directly under your shoulders and knees under your hips, please. Okay, from here, guys, extend the left leg nice and long. I want you to bring your toes towards you to get a little stretch in the back of the leg. Okay, we're going to bring the left knee in towards our body, rounding through our spine a little bit, but keeping the lower back flat, okay? So I don't want you tucking too much, not rounding too much, okay? Extend back, bring the toes towards you. We're bringing that knee under. Try and keep the position of the spine a little bit straight. So you will move a tiny bit through the spine, but I don't want too much movement. And extend back. Breathe in. Reaching back. Good. Breathe in. Extend back. Really pushing into the shoulder blades. So bring those shoulder blades away from each other. Okay. Arms are strong and straight. Well done. Two and one. Keep that leg up, please. We're going to extend our opposite arm, hand facing inward. Push in through that hand and really, really feel how hard that arm has to work to stabilize you. And draw that belly button towards your spine. Nice and strong through the leg and that arm that are down. Relax the foot that's lifted if you want now. Well done. Three, two, lower the hand. Keep the leg lifted. We're going to lower lift for 10. Nine, eight, seven. Well done. Breathing. Four, three, 
two. And last one. Bring that knee down, please. Feel how much your body has moved out of position, like leaning too much on that left or the right leg if it's your left leg that's lifted. Just be mindful of that, okay? Check under your legs, under your hips, sorry, just make sure your legs are directly under your hips. Just have a little look. Extend that right leg, nice and long, bring the toes towards you, please. Draw that belly button towards your spine and just kind of make sure those hips are level also. We're going to bring that knee under our body. Be mindful that we're not rounding through our spine too much, okay? And extend back. So just moving that leg in underneath the body, feel a little activation in the abs, and then push back. Okay, breathing in as you bring it under, extend. Hold on. For two. And one. We're going to hold the leg there. Keep the toes towards you for now. And then extend that opposite arm. Hand facing in. Holding. Breathing. For three. Two. One, release the hand down, keep the leg lifted. We're going to lower lift for 10, 9, 8. Well done. For 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Place that leg down. Bring the soles of your feet together, or your tippy toes, should I say. And then from down to a shelf, start to go wide with your knees. And try and bring your body down as close as possible to the floor, resting your head onto the mat. And breathe. Next exercise is a challenging one. We've done it plenty of times. Leg pull front. But we're gonna kind of stay up for a bit. So this will be challenging, so stick with it, okay? Stay focused. I want you to tuck your toes, knees directly under your hips. When you're ready, come up into leg full front. Lower legs are parallel to the mat. We're going to hold for another 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Lower the knees down. Okay, as your knees come down, just bring your awareness to your stomach. Okay, feel the muscles switching off in your abs. So before you lift again, draw the belly button to the spine and lift up for 10. Nine, eight, both knees are coming. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Okay, extend your left leg, tuck your toes. Okay, make sure your other knee is under your hip. Okay, from there we're going to take an inhale and on the exhale we're lifting that right leg, your left leg behind, lift, lift the bent knee off the floor for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Staying in this position, guys, I want you to lift that leg. We're going to go into press ups. So lower and lift the body towards the floor. Bring it back. Leg in line with your hips. Coming down. Push up. For eight more. Seven. Breathe in as you go down. Push up. Exhale. Nine. Three. Two. Last one. Lovely stuff. Bring the leg down and we're going to swap over we're going to do uh, double legs first again take a breath in and on the exhale we're going to lift both legs together for 10. nine nice bit of endurance needed for this well done just focus on your breath guys don't forget to draw that belly button to the spine five four 
Three, two, and one. All right. Extending the right leg, the other leg that you haven't extended, extend that leg, please. And we're going to lift that bent knee off the floor for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6. Well done. Breathing. 3, 2, 1. You start to feel the arms burning a little bit now, guys. Lifting that leg, please. In line with the hip. Lower lift. We're going for 10 again. Keeping that leg in line with your hip when you come back up. Parallel to the floor. Bring that leg towards the ceiling as you dip down. And back. Five, four, three, two, and one. Bring the leg down. And I'm going to get you to bring your hands wide, please. We're coming into press up. All right. Bring your legs back slightly, or you can go to full presses if you want. Feet parallel beside each other. We're going to lower and lift for 15 reps. Okay. We started. That's two done, three. Good. Breathing. Last five now. Three, two, one. Lovely stuff. Come into your shell stretch, please. Lying down, reach the arms long and rest your head down onto the mat. Take a breather. Hope you're all okay. We're going to come onto our back, please. Drawing onto abs again. All right. So lying down. Woo. So we're going to come into an ab prep position. So make sure your knees are bent and your feet flat on the floor, in line with your hips. Take a breath in here, and on the exhale, you're going to come into ab prep, supporting your head with your hands. We're going to extend the right leg in line with your knees, so knees parallel, and we're going to circle the leg for ten, nine. Have a little look at your pelvis there. Make sure there's not too much rocking going on, please. If there is, go smaller. Okay, and rest your head into your hands. I'm going to go the opposite way for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Extend the opposite arm back. I'm going to inhale, lower the leg. Exhale, come up and reach towards your knee. Inhale to lower, supporting your head with your opposite hand. Exhale, reaching. There. Last three. Two. And one. Lovely stuff. Bend the leg, place it down. Give your head a moment. And we're going to extend the opposite leg. Knees parallel, please. Okay, we're going to take a breath in. On the exhale, come into our press. We're going to circle the leg for 10, 9, 8. Again, make sure the pelvis isn't moving. So go smaller with the circles, please, if you are. One more. Opposite way for 10, 9, 8, 7. Five, four, three, two, one. Reaching that opposite arm back, rest your head down. Take a breath in as you lower the leg. And exhale to come up and reach towards that knee. Good. Inhale to lower. Exhale to reach. Lower down. Halfway. Four, three, two, and one. Lovely stuff. Place the leg down, rest your head down. 
Bring your hands down by your sides, take a breath in, and on the exhale, rolling through in front. Make sure your head is nice and secure, that you've got something under your neck if you need it. And bring the legs to tabletop. Okay. We're going to go for heel reaches towards the floor, take a breath in. And on the exhale, I want you to bring your right foot towards the floor, bring it back, and alternate legs, please. Last two, last one. Good stuff. Stick your knees and ankles together, staying in tabletop position. We're circling the leg for 10 circles towards the right and then the right to the left. Okay. Both legs together and drawing a nice circle from both knees, drawing on the ceiling. Keeping your lower back imprint. So don't bring your knee, your legs too far away from your body. Okay, you want to keep that imprint there. All right. Feel how hard those abs are working. Every every bit of your abs are working here. Okay. We'll be done this. Move one more this way. Hold it in the center and then go back the other way. Really, really good. Breathe in for half a circle and out for half a circle. Okay. Last two. One more. Lovely stuff. Keep the legs up, please. Hands behind the head. Take an inhale here. And on the exhale, reach that right leg away. Come up and rotate towards your left leg. Inhale, come down. And exhale, extend the opposite leg and rotate towards the right leg. Inhale, lower. Exhale, rotate. Extend and rotate. Alternating legs, please. So you're always rotating to the bent knee. Looking at that bent knee. And if you can't extend the leg without putting too much strain in your back, just keep both legs bent. And if the legs are too much in the air, then bring them to the floor and continue rotating towards the opposite knee. Opposite, uh, arm to opposite knee. Two more. One more. Hold. 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 Bring the leg in. We're going to rotate towards the other side and hold. Hold. Bring the leg in. Bring your knees to your chest and say, ah. <laughs> Bring your feet to the floor, okay? We'll stretch out the hip flexors and the abs a little bit by doing a bit of bridge work. So bring the heels back towards your back side, hands down by your side. Take an inhale here and on the exhale, I want you to bring yourself in through imprint. And then lift the body up off the mat. Help. Don't forget about the positioning of the abs and the ribs. They're still active. They're still firing up nicely. Ribs are down. Okay. We're going to lift the right leg into tabletop position. We're going to circle that knee for five, four, three, two. Control the pelvis, please. Hold it there, opposite way for five, four, three. Two, one, place that leg down, please. Make sure your feet are level. So just check in with your big toes, touch them off each other. Make sure your hips are completely lifted and level. And extend the other leg into a nice degree angle. And we're circling outwards and down for five, four, three, two, one. Off the way for five, four, three, two and one place that foot down please okay from here stay in your bridge position please we're going to let the knees go out to wherever feels comfortable where you can maintain keep the feet down though don't let the toes lift all the toes stay down and that's giving, giving you an honest reading where your legs can go to and then bring them back to where they were it just let the legs fall outwards by keeping all toes down, so the big toe does not lift. Bring it back. 
Breathe out as the knees go away. Exhale as you bring them back. Inhale. Breathe in. Out. Visualize some sort of resistance between your legs as you bring those legs back. Tighten the resistance, so it's a slow movement coming back in. And again, feeling the activation in the uh, inner part of your buttock. Go for two more, please, keeping the hips up and level. Last one. We're gonna slowly come down through our vertebrae, one at a time. Very good. We're gonna come onto our left side. Okay, for side plank. So elbow on the mat, okay, um, knees slightly forward, we're going to take a breath in and coming into our side plank position, okay, reaching the arm away towards the ceiling, we're going to lower and lift that top leg for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, one. From there, guys, just come down slowly. Want to come onto your hand for the same side plank, okay? And knees stacked, okay? Bring the hands slightly in front of the shoulder. I want you to come into the side plank on your knees for now, and then I want you to extend the top leg. Make sure the sole, make sure your foot is flat on the floor, okay? So I'm going to challenge you here. If it's too much, don't do it, okay? You're going to put your weight onto that foot. You're going to lower and lift that lower leg for five. Four, three, two, one. Bring it down. Bring your body down. And we're going to come into mermaid stretch. So bring that left leg. If it was your left side you're on, bring the left leg in front. And then reaching over towards your right side. Good. Coming down, we're going to stop side. So off the side, please. So onto your elbow to begin, supporting yourself, take an inhale, exhale, come up. Nice long line of the body. Make sure your hips are stacked, one on top of the other, and now back or forward. So lifting that top leg for 10, 9, 8, 7, well done, 6, 5, make sure you're nice and strong to the stomach, please. 2, 1. Lovely stuff. Okay. Make sure you're fully on your mat. This was the last time I did this. I was half on, half off a bit. So when you're ready, we'll keep the knee stacked for now. Three, two, one, coming up. And then once you extend your leg, make sure your body is fully on the mat. Otherwise, you start to get right here. Supporting yourself with that standing leg. You're going to lower and lift the bottom leg for five, four, three, two, one. It's challenging. Come down slowly. Bring that um, right leg in front, left leg behind, and reaching over. Breathing into it. And we're going to come onto our side, staying on this right side. Lower down, please. I want activation on the lower waist. And from here, I want you to just lift both legs together, stuck together. Support yourself with this other hand. Just a little kind of security, I suppose, in case you roll forward or back. All right, and rest your head onto your arm. So both legs are lifted and long. Just feel a nice activation on the inner thighs and the glutes. Okay, on the side waist, on both sides. Holding. Five, four, three, two, one. I want you to bring your top leg forward and your bottom leg in line with your hip, okay? And we're just going to lift and lower that the lower leg, okay? Straight leg. Hold well on. Five, four, three, two, and one more. And then we're going to hold it up and just feel 
how weak those inner adductors actually are because they don't get worked often enough. Okay. We're always using the quads and the hamstrings, the glutes more so. And these just kind of stabilize, but they don't actually get strengthened too often. Okay, holding. Feel a nice little burn for three, two, one. Okay, and relax down. We're gonna bring both legs nice and long. And we're gonna lift and lower that top leg. Okay. Well done. Even the husband, obviously, if you're doing these legs, you can introduce it, but I just think it's enough. And those that are in the gym and running, and sometimes it's nice just to not fight against resistance, sometimes just let the legs move as far as they can go and without fighting something. Okay. And then from there, guys, I'm going to bring your knees into a plan position. I want you to bring your hips over each other again, so just make sure that they are. I'm going to lift and lower that top leg. And we're going for four more. Three, two, and one more. Good. And we're going to hold this leg up as well. Good. And breathing through it. A little bit higher and hold for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Bring it in line with your hip and just pulse for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6. Hold up. 4, 3, 2, 1. Lower down. Lovely stuff. Okay, we're going to swap sides when you're ready. Oh, well, to the other side. Nice long line. Okay. And again, supporting yourself. Make sure your hips are over each other. And when you're ready, just lifting both legs off the floor, stuck together. And straight leg, please. Don't be pushing into the mat with your hand. Okay. So you're not using your hand to help your, your legs stay up. You're literally just stabilizing yourself with your fingers. Okay. In case you roll. If you want to release your upper hand, you can. To really challenge yourself. Okay. Five, four, three, two, one. Release the leg down, bring that top leg forward and your arm down. We're going to lower and lift that lower leg. Straight leg, please. Three, two, and we're going to hold it up. Remember, so holding that leg up. You may feel a little bit tighter on one side than the other. It can be my tighter side, I think. Or weaker also, weaker side. Holding that leg up, please. Don't let it fall. Keep it up, keep it up. We're nearly finished, guys. Stay with me. After this leg series, we're just stretch. Stay with me, please. Three, two, one, relax the leg down, bring the other leg on top, okay? We're gonna lower and lift that top leg, 10. Try and keep it back in line with your hip, please. Your leg shouldn't be forward of your hips. Okay, all you should see is really your toes. We look down. Two, one, and we're gonna bend our knees. Okay, into a clamp position, please. Lifting that top leg and lowering it down for 10, 9, 8, 7. Well done. Again, just check it into your hips, make sure that they're not falling back. Make sure the top hip is staying forward. One more. And we're going to keep that leg lifted in line with your hip to begin. Good, holding it up. Make sure the lower leg is nice and relaxed. Nice and strong. Breathing, go a little bit higher with that top leg. So both hip height. Hold. Five, four, 
three, two, bring it back down and line with your hip, and we're gonna pulse for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Relax that leg down. Well done. We're gonna come onto our back and we'll do a bit of stretching, please. So bring both knees into your chest, please. And just rock side to side. And just stretching out that lower back and spine, massaging the spine by the side of it. Relax your neck, relax your shoulders. Let them relax down towards the mat. And then what I want you to do is place your feet down. I want you to bring the soles of the feet together and just let the legs fall outward. Soles of the feet together and let the legs just lay out. And just breathe into it. And then gently rock side to side. You want to use your hands to gently push down on either side. Release out the adductors in the pubic area. Uh, bring them up together. What I'm going to get you to do is place your right foot onto your lower thigh, just above your knee. Okay? And just push with your hand onto that inner leg. Open up that leg a little bit more. So open up the hip. Pushing it open. And with your both hands, I want you to wrap around the thigh, the back of the thigh, lift the leg off the floor, and then pull that leg towards you. Lifting your head off the floor also, sorry. You gently rock towards the left, your left leg lifted. Gently rock to your left, you feel a deeper stretch in your bones and a little rock. Your right leg rocks to the right. Place your head down and release the legs. And spot over, please. So we're going to push into the inner thigh of that other leg. And with both hands behind the thigh and pull it up off the floor, bring your head off the floor also, looking at your legs. And again, rocking that same side gently. Hold on. Let your head down. And when you're ready, I'm going to get you to bring your legs nice and long onto the floor. I want you to bring your hands behind your head as if you're heading off sleeping. And just what I want you to do is breathe in. I want you to bring your, your rib cage up towards the ceiling, push it into the sacrum and your pelvis, your lower pelvis. So you're pushing down with your bum and lift your chest towards the ceiling. Breathe in as you stretch out the stomach muscles. And then as you exhale, come down with your spine towards the floor as close as you can get. Push your pubic bone up if you can, and if you're bringing it towards an imprint, but you won't be able to because your head is lifted. We're going to bring our spine up off the floor again. Breathe in, lifting the rib cage towards the ceiling. Push really down into the sacrum for the bum area. Exhale, come down with the rib cage, melt down towards the pelvis, activate the abs. Inhale as you reach. Exhale. Bend the knees, please. I want you to reach your arms towards the ceiling. You're going to inhale as you reach the arms back to the back of the room. And then exhale, go wide. Inhale to reach the back of the room. Exhale, go wide. Inhale to reach. Wide, one more, please. One more, inhale. And exhale. Again, rest the legs down nice and long. I want you to reach your arms nice and long to the back of the room. And I want you to really lengthen through the leg. So push, as if you're trying to push your leg out of a hip socket, really push down away from you. Okay, stretching out the stomach as much as you can and lengthening the leg muscles as well. Lift the ribs, you're gonna reach the arms way, 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 way back. Okay, so nice, long, long, long arms. And we're gonna breathe into this position. So breathe in. And out, breathe in, one more, inhale, 
arms down by your sides. Bend your knees, please. Take an inhale, hands behind the legs, and on the exhale, pull yourself up slowly, slowly, slowly. And let yourself go forward. Last stretch of the day. Pull the right foot towards your leg, reach down towards your left toes. And we'll go up over, please. Pull the other foot towards your thigh and then reaching down towards your toes. Well done, everybody. Come over and pause this. Hope you enjoyed. Oh, there you go.